Is Arunachal Pradesh the latest insur insurgency hotspot in the Northeast? Well, less than a month since the center extended the Armed Forces Special Powers Act in three districts of the state for six more months, there has been a spike in insurgency related activities, especially in Longding and Changlang districts, despite the AFSPA regime being extended in both the districts. In the latest case, security forces have recovered huge war-like stores following a fierce gun battle between security forces, a group of NSC and KYA at Changkhao in Longding district yesterday. Well, this has been confirmed by the Spear Corps of the Indian Army. The Spear Corps in a statement said that the troops of the Assam Rifles came under heavy fire from the militants after which the forces retaliated swiftly. In a fierce gun battle that ensued thereafter, one NSC and KYA militant was killed at Chop village in Waka Circle in Longding district of Arunachal Pradesh yesterday evening. It may be mentioned that on October 12th, a fierce gun battle erupted between militants and security forces in Arunachal Pradesh's Longding district, prompting massive counter-insurgency operations which are still underway. Well, input suggested that forces came under a sudden attack at Pongchao village and militants resorted to heavy unprovoked firing. It is suspected that a group of 20 to 30 heavily armed NSC and uh, KYA were involved in that attack. Meanwhile, on October 11, security forces had launched a massive operation to track down an 810 member hit squad of the Alpha in the deep jungles of Changlang district. The anti-insurgency operations were carried out in the Manabum Reserve Forest after forces received intel inputs suggesting the movement of the Alpha Independent Hit Squad led by self-styled Alpha Independent Commander Mriganko Oha. So is Arunachal Pradesh the latest insurgency hotspot in the Northeast? Well, less than a month since the center extended the Armed Forces Special Powers Act in three districts of the state for six more months, there has been a spike in insurgency-related activities, especially in Longding and Changlang districts, despite the AFSPA regime being extended in both the districts. All right, to know more on this, I'm being joined live with Ripun Choi Da. So, uh, Ripun Choi, in recent times, we have seen a lot of kidnapping, extortion, and now gun battle. So, Ripun Choi, is Arunachal Pradesh the latest insurgency hotspot in the Northeast? Yes, Priya, you can say, in other words, definitely Arunachal is going that way itself, if not uh, till now, but it's going that way itself. It's uh, gradually becoming the hot, hotbed of insurgency in the northeast region. See, Priya, why we say this, there are various regions. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, TCL, the Tirap Changlang Longding Bell has always been known for insurgent activities uh, carried out by uh, various uh, militant groups from outside this region. Now, uh, these uh, were uh, controlled for, the, for some time uh, in, uh, during uh, last year in particular in 20, uh, 2023. Hmm. But all of a sudden, there has been some kind of a spark in uh, militant activities in this region. We had seen that uh, during, uh, on particularly 11th and 12th October, there was a huge gun battle in uh, Pongchao village in Longding district, uh, due to which afterwards the special forces of the, the para commandos of the Indian Army were also involved in carrying out operation to wipe out insurgency from this area. Now, uh, j just last night, uh, we had this information of this uh, big operation but carried out by Assam Rifles and other security forces in the same district of Longding, and during which this big operation, one uh, senior enlisted cadre, a self-styled major, uh, was uh, eliminated by the security forces. So this uh, definitely we, we have a valid point to say that Ornachal, particularly if we talk about Tirap Changlang Longding as well as uh, nearby district of Namsai is going to be the next hotbed of insurgency in the entire northeast region. Priya. And Ripunche, if you talk about the combing operation, so is the combing operation still underway at this point in time and are recoveries been made from the site? Tell us about that as well. 
Yes, Priya, definitely the combining operations are uh, still going on. We have been informed by the SP uh, of Longding District, Mr. Dekio Gumja, who is still in the site where uh, this uh, encounter had taken place uh, last night. And uh, there, uh, if we talk about recoveries, Priya, uh, it's uh, uh, from uh, the, uh, they had recovered, the security forces had recovered a bag, uh, a rakshak bag from the eliminate uh, the, from the slain militant, uh, uh, and from there there has been a recovery of explosives. Now that is a dangerous indicator, Priya, because uh, if uh, they are carrying explosives also apart from sophisticated arms and ammunition, that is a major uh, matter for concern and worry for the security forces, for the government and for the common people also of this TCL region because it is now, uh, a, a, it, a, it, they can use this explosive in any uh, uh, subversive activities, they might target security forces as they had done last night when they had uh, continuously fired upon the Absam Rifles patrol after this, after which this uh, fierce encounter broke out during which one militant was eliminated. And the security forces are still in the search of the other militants who had managed to uh, slip away from that location. But the combing operations, search operations, and weather is also today conducive, Priya, and still going on.